customize the project browser to support the way that we work, you can either group, sort, and filter the list of views, sheets, and schedules to meet your needs. To do that, where it says Views here, I'm going to right click, go to Browser Organization, and I can change it from Scale to Discipline or Not on Sheets or any of these options that you see here. And I can even customize them a little bit. So let's say I wanted to sort by Discipline, but I also wanted to make sure that Scale was part of that equation. So where it says Discipline, with Discipline checked, I can click Edit. And now I can see that my filtering is not being done here, which is fine. But grouping and sorting is being grouped by discipline, then by family and type. And then what I could do is I could say, OK, well, I would like to group also by view scale. And what that'll do is it'll maintain this level of organization that we see here. But it'll also add another level, which is going to be discipline and family and type. So we'll go ahead and hit OK and OK again. And now you can see that our views are broken out by the view type and also the view scale. We could do the same thing with a project that has sheets included. And one way that we could do that is we can sort with a custom parameter. So from the Manage tab, if we went to Project Parameters, what I could do is I could add a parameter to the project that was specific to, say, Sheets. And it could be something as simple as you know, Package. And what this will allow me to do is if I define the different packages for the sheets, I could have one that's like a city submittal package or design package or any of those uh, any of those options. And then I can sort my sheet list to be that way as well. So if I were to add a few sheets here quickly, What I could do is I could do browser organization specific to sheets. And I can add a new option. And I could say filter by and say package equal to. And if I had a parameter, I could give it to that. Or I could simply just say sort by package. and then show the whole thing. But we always want to make sure we're still sorting by sheet number. So if I were to go in and say, look at the properties of sheet A11 uh, here, you can see that I have package. And so just to be for this example, I'll call it package A. And then when we look at our browser organization, when we use that as our sorting method, it'll put that sheet within package A. And all the other ones are with the question marks because those have not been defined yet. And that's how we can sort our views and our sheets within the project browser.